Hey devs, welcome back. In a previous video, I talked a little bit about what static analysis tools are, why you might want to use them, and a few options out there that we can use to start writing cleaner, safer, more efficient Android apps. So in today's video, I want to look at static analysis tools specifically for Android and how we can use those tools to write cleaner, safer Android apps and maintain consistent styling and conventions across our code base. Now we have a number of options when it comes to static analysis tools for Android. We have Android Lint, which is very common. It's integrated with the IDE, with the Android build system. It's easy for us to look for and detect those Android related issues. We then have tools for Kotlin, such as KT Lint or Detect, which make it easier for us to format our Kotlin code or to find problems specifically in that Kotlin code. We ha then have more generic tools that work on things like Java or XML and aren't specific to Android, but can also be integrated with Android projects. Those are things such as CheckStyle, PMD, or FindBugs. And there's really a whole slew of other tools out there as well. But for this video, we're going to stick to these named ones above. So first up, we'll look at Android Lint. Android Lint is an analysis tool for Android projects. It will analyze our code and present us output grouped into different types of errors. So in this case, we'll see under the Android Lint section, we have a number of correctness errors. We might also have errors related to resources or invalid XML. Many things related to our Android project can be reported here as either errors or warnings. Android Lint can inspect and validate Java, Kotlin, and XML. It has tight integration with Android Studio, but can also be run from the command line or can be integrated with our CI pipeline. We can configure the checks and the severity of those checks, as well as whether or not we should fail our build if we have any checks or have errors above some specified threshold. This is a really great tool to have integrated into your Android project. Now let's look at the first Kotlin tool, KTLint. KTLint is a Kotlin linter with built-in code formatter. Now what does that mean? Well, very simply, it means that it can check the styling of our Kotlin code and even reformat some of it for us. When we run KTLint, we see output such as this. Notice the first line here is telling us that our class should be declared in a file with the same name. We also see a number of errors related to unexpected indentation. We also see at the end of each line saying that it cannot be auto-corrected. So it's very useful in that it can auto-format your code for you, but it also points out exactly where issues are that it can't auto-format. KTLint has rules based on the kotlinling.org and Android Kotlin style guides. Now it works out of the box with minimal config but it also supports configuration and custom rules. One of these configuration options is whether you want it to support the Android style guide or not. It also includes an auto formatting tool. So like we saw before, it will either auto format the code for you, or it will show you which lines cannot be auto formatted and that you need to fix yourself to pass the formatting checks. This is really useful if you are working in a Kotlin code base and want to enforce common conventions and styling across your team. Now let's take a look at Detect, another static analysis tool for Kotlin. Detect is a highly configurable analysis tool for Kotlin projects. Not only can it check for formatting issues, but also can look for code smells, code complexity analysis, and more. Here's a sample output of what running detect can look like. We'll see a number of different option types here, such as warning of magic numbers or having protected members in a final class or warning that var could actually be a val. So here it can enforce good Kotlin practice and help us write better Kotlin code. 
If we look at the bottom, we'll see it also generates a complexity report. So we can see the number of lines of code, logical lines of code, and statistics about the project, including the number of classes, functions, or properties. These can all be used to track metrics as our project grows over time. So C detect is much more than just a code formatting tool. It checks for code complexity, code smells. It also does formatting based on KT lint checks. We can also configure what these detections look like, whether we want to format based on KT lint or customize our own rules. We can choose a threshold for the number of values to allow before erroring out our build. There's a lot we can use here to help our projects be healthier Kotlin code bases. Next up, we'll look at CheckStyle. CheckStyle is a popular tool for enforcing coding standards in Java projects. Similar to Detect for Kotlin, CheckStyle can look at our Java code for things like naming conventions, structural issues, class design, we can configure its rule set via XML. There are also two commonly available rule sets out there based on what Google and Sun use. These can be integrated into your own project to start checking, analyzing, and improving the quality of your Java code. Another tool you could consider for your Android projects is PMD. PMD actually works on a lot of different file types out there. It analyzes source code for Java, XML, JavaScript, and more. Here we have a sample of what the output report looks like when running PMD. It will list out the different problems found and give you a description of what that problem is and an idea of where to fix it. Now, like I said before, it checks for a variety of things like conditional complexities, unnecessary object creation, unused variables, and it works across a variety of languages. It's also configurable via XML, so you can check for just the things you're interested in. And like all of these tools, it can be integrated with your continuous integration server. And the last tool we'll talk about today is FindBugs. This tool is fairly unique in that it examines the actual bytecode for what are referred to as bug patterns. This means it doesn't actually need the source code to analyze for these things. We we'll see here an example of what the output report looks like. We we'll see it's actually quite detailed and includes a number of different sections. We we'll also see also at the bottom that it's providing some different warnings and giving descriptions of where these are coming from. Now, these don't always mean that you need to necessarily go out and fix something. Like the examples here, these are actually coming from parts of the Android SDK, and you may not want to actually go worry about them. Now, the list of bug patterns that it can check for is quite extensive. Because it operates on the bytecode, the source isn't actually necessary, and it can also do some very detailed analysis by looking at that bytecode. You can also create your own custom detectors if you want to look for your own types of bug patterns. And like I said in the beginning of this video, this is not an exhaustive list of static analysis tools that could be used for Android projects. There are many tools out there that work for Java, for XML, and you could take a look at adding any and all of them if they suit your need. Additionally, Many of these tools work at the command line, but also have plugins available for JetBrains IDEs, including Android Studio, which is based on IntelliJ. This makes it even easier to integrate into your daily workflow. Are you using any of these tools in your project today? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Until next time.